Governor Ned Lamont says his extension will begin on September 9th, which is when the first emergency declaration was supposed to end. But Republicans argue there was no vote to even finalize the decision. So what does this extension mean for you? Some businesses and schools will remain closed. Gathering sizes will be restricted and post travel quarantines will stay in effect until February 2021. Lamont says this is a good way to act quickly if the virus changes. Nobody wanted it just to end on September 9th when nobody knows what the rules are on masks, what the rules are on bars, what the rules are on schools. So I think everybody was pretty sympathetic. The five month extension will begin September 9th. This guarantees the governor's executive orders do not expire then. Lamont says Connecticut has done well at keeping COVID cases at bay. People understand that I really st stuck to my lane and every executive order I did was specific to COVID and public health. Republicans, on the other hand, say they are not satisfied with how the governor has handled his decision. Senate leader Len Fasano saying they were left in the dark. I think we'll see an, an uptick, uh, particularly because of schools and colleges, we'll see an uptick. Uh, but once again, if we were working collaboratively with the governor, we could still move fast. The governor could still have his orders as long as we had some legislative input. Senate Republican leader Len Fasano joining House Republican leader Themis Claritus, sending this letter to the Emergency Public Health Committee expressing, quote, grave concerns over the extension of unilateral power. The governor would have to formally file for the extension and legislative leaders can nullify if needed. Look, if you want the power, give the legislators the right of 72 hours to review your rules. And if we don't like them, we can uh, veto them by a majority of the leaders. Only six of us would vote. Since the pandemic, the governor has issued more than 60 coronavirus related executive orders and updates to previous orders. Reporting at the state capitol, Carbon Chow, Fox 61 News.